Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> All right, Sagittarius, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. What are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius, please? Whoever it is that Sagittarius is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you, Spirit. What are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? All right, here we go. First card we have is the Emperor as their current feelings. Hmm. Kind of looks like they're watching you, they're observing you, they're trying to learn something about you. This is someone who likes to be in control with the Emperor card. This is someone who likes to have the upper hand. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this person does really want you. They feel a lot of passion for you. But I feel like they're they're skeptical about you also. Like um they have some doubts about you or some reservations about you. Hmm. They're not sure if they can trust you. Okay. Tell me more about um well, I don't know. They're not they're not sure if they can trust you or they're not sure if they're they can control you. Uh you know, one one or the other. I'm not sure what it is here. But let's see. Tell me more spirit about this person and their current feelings for Sagittarius. this person currently feel about Sagittarius thank you oh hangman yeah they're definitely um studying you they're studying you they're not taking any actions they're holding back mm. they haven't made up their mind about you yet they're trying to figure you out Tell me more, Spirit, what are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? We have the Eight of Wands. They might be waiting for you to, for, sorry, they might be waiting for you to communicate with them, with the Eight of Wands. I feel like they are. With the Hangman, Hangman can represent waiting. They're waiting for you to communicate, to say something. What kind of game is this person playing? This is starting to feel like they're playing a game here. Tell me more, Spirit, what are, um, what are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? Three of Wands, more waiting. Three of Wands is also a card that represents waiting for something to come towards you. They're waiting for you to come towards them. There's a lot of fire energy here. Might be connecting to another fire sign, Aries Sagittarius or Leo. We also have Pisces here. Hmm. They're waiting for you to come towards them. I don't know for what. Tell me more, Spirit. What are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? Oh, okay, Six of Cups. 
So this person does have a lot of feelings for you with the Six of Cups. This can represent a soulmate connection. They feel a very strong soulmate connection with you. So they want to have... They want to have an emotional connection with you. With the Six of Cups. They want you to express to them your emotions. They want to know that you have feelings for them and that you want to be with them. Hmm. Hmm. This person might feel like right now um, they're the only ones who are who are wanting this relationship, because I do feel like they want a relationship with you, but they might feel like they're the only ones who want it, or they're the only ones who have true feelings. This is someone who's definitely trying to protect themselves from getting hurt or from um, making a, a foolish decision or look, looking foolish. Tell me more, Spirit, what are this person's um, current feelings for Sagittarius? Let's get one more card and their current feelings for Sagittarius. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, and there's no talking, no communication, no contact. They're just kind of hiding in the shadows, watching you, waiting for you. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of nothingness here. This is, a, this is a lot of nothingness. But let me clarify the emperor, then we'll take a look at you, and then we'll see what's going to happen. Tell me about this emperor energy here, spirit. Why is this person's current feelings for Sagittarius the emperor? Why is this person's current feelings for Sagittarius the emperor? All right, here we go. The Queen of Wands, feminine energy here. This is kind of feminine and masculine, both of them together. Queen of Wands, so this person wants you. They definitely want you, they definitely desire you. Um, they feel a lot of passion for you, they're very attracted to you, they want to um, achieve uh, a union here. Well, it almost looks like they're trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest the union between you and them. Hmm. Kind of like they're calling you energetically. Yeah, because they're also kind of in this energy of, I'm not going to reach out to Sagittarius. I'm not going to, you know, chase Sagittarius. I'm not going to say anything, you know? I feel like they are kind of in their ego here. Hmm. They're waiting for you to take action. All right, tell me about the hangman connected to this person's current feelings for Sagittarius. Why the hangman? The Five of Pentacles, oh, interesting. This person feels left out in the cold. They feel abandoned, they feel rejected. I told you, they feel like, they feel like um, their feelings are unrequited. They feel like this is unrequited love for them. They feel like you don't care about them or you're not interested or like you don't have feelings for them. You're not invested in them. They feel like they're the only ones that that have feelings for you. And they're the only ones that want, want you, but you don't want them in return. That's what they think right now, but they're also trying to figure out if maybe they're wrong. And they're hoping that you'll say something. Okay. Or do something. Um, what do I want to look at? I think I want to look at the... 
I don't know. Let's just look at the Three of Wands just in case there is more information. Anything about the Three of Wands here in regards to this person's current feelings for Sagittarius spirit? King of Cups. They love you. Love, love, love. King of Cups and the Six of Cups. Double confirmation. They love you. They love you and they can't help it. Mm, they can't help it. They've been trying to fight it with the Emperor card. They've been trying to fight their feelings for you. But it's stronger than them. It's stronger than their willpower. They feel weak for you. They have a weakness, a weakness for you. And they don't like it. They don't like that they have a weakness. And I definitely feel like this person tries to hide it as, as much as possible. Anything about this Four of Swords in regards to this person's current feelings for Sagittarius spirit? What about the Four of Swords? They're giving you the silent treatment. Four of Swords connected to the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they want you to reach out to them. That's what they want. They want you to reach out to them. They want you to express interest or to show interest, demonstrate interest. Um, and like I said, they're not they're not taking action. They're they're kind of in this headspace or mentality of I'm not going to take action. I'm not going to um, move. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to get humiliated. I'm not going to put myself in a position where I might get humiliated. This person is scared of your rejection. All right, I'm done here. Let's move on to your feelings, Sagittarius, and then we'll see what's going to happen. But those are their feelings here currently for you. Yeah, Five of Cups. They've been grieving. They've been grieving a, a separation with you. All right, Spirit, show me Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius currently feel about this person? What are Sagittarius's current feelings, please? All right, here we go. How does Sagittarius currently feel about this person? What are Sagittarius's current feelings? All right. All right, here we go. It's ready. In regards to your current feelings, we have the magician, manifestation. I don't know about what. You're trying to manifest something. Mm. This can represent independence as well. You might be right now in a very independent energy. Tell me more about Sagittarius' current feelings spirit for this person. Oh, five of wands. Uh, yeah, this feels like independence. You're manifesting yourself, basically. Um, you're manifesting your own personal um, security, stability, success. Feels like you're, you're focused on yourself. Hmm. You're focused on yourself, okay. Five of Wands, so there's been a lot of issues or conflict or there was some sort of fight between you and this person. Tell me more, Spirit, what are Sagittarius's current feelings for this person? Uh, yeah, look at that, Ten of Swords. This was a, a difficult um, ending, difficult separation. Um, 
a difficult relationship, apparently, with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You two were not getting along with each other very well with the Five of Wands. Um, there might have been a lot of harsh words with the Ten of Swords exchanged between you two, a lot of harsh words. Hmm. Or this person said a lot of harsh things to you, or treated you in a harsh way, or acted in a harsh way. It looks like you're kind of taking back your power with the Magician card, and you're becoming independent by detaching yourself from this relationship. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit, what are Sagittarius's current feelings for this person? How does Sagittarius currently feel about them? Four of Pentacles, uh, yeah, you're holding back. You're all about yourself. You're all about your security, your safety, your stability. You don't trust this person. You don't believe in this person. You feel like this person doesn't um, value you or doesn't understand you. Or they just don't treat you well. They don't treat you the way you know you deserve to be treated. So you don't have any issue with disconnecting yourself from them. All right, let's get two more cards, Spirit. What are Sagittarius' current feelings for this person? We have the Queen of Swords. I told you something about harsh words, harsh communication. Queen of Swords is your current feelings. Mm. You, you, might, you might feel like this person says a lot of things that are not true with the Queen of Swords. You might feel like, or they assume things about you that are not true, or they accuse you of things that are not true. Something like that. Let's get one more card, Spirit. What are Sagittarius's current feelings for this person? Ten of Cups is here. Okay, so you had good intentions with this person with the Ten of Cups. You had good intentions of um, establishing a meaningful long-term relationship with this person, but you feel like this person sabotage the relationship or you feel like they they brought in a lot of drama and conflict and ultimately you feel like they messed they messed things up between you two and now you're kind of detaching taking back your power becoming independent and focusing on yourself um, you kind of feel like it's their fault you, you feel like it's their fault you feel like they're the ones who kind of made this relationship unstable. All right. All right. Let me clarify the magician and then we'll see what's going to happen. I don't see you being interested, but I don't know. They want to know if you're still interested. I don't, I don't think you're still interested. Tell me about the magician in regards to Sagittarius' current feelings for this person. Why the magician? Why is the magician here? Ooh, what did I tell you? Look at that, the Five of Swords. You feel like this person made their bed and now they have to lay in it. I feel like that's what you're saying here with this card. You made your bed and now you have to lay in it. 
if you still want me, if you still want a relationship with me, then that's too bad. You know, you had your chance and you messed it up. And now I'm focused on myself. Now I'm only focused on myself. You don't have a lot of sympathy for this person. You don't feel like they deserve it. You don't feel like they deserve um, any sympathy. I mean, you're showing up as the magician, so you feel like you tried. You feel like you tried with this person, but it was impossible. Because this person likes to argue a lot with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. They like to argue a lot. Or like they're very aggressive with their communication or they're very demanding, controlling. So you're kind of in this energy of, I'm freeing myself. You're freeing yourself, okay. I mean, I don't know what to, what to look at here. Let me see. Uh, does Sagittarius want anything with this person, Spirit? Um, is there anything Sagittarius still wants here? Or is it like, is Sagittarius like done, like completely done? What are, what are Sagittarius's true feelings here? And do they want anything with this person here, with this Queen of Wands Emperor person? Interesting, the Nine of Wands is here. Mm. Well, you know, Nine of Wands is about being guarded, feeling like you need to guard yourself, but it can represent still being connected to someone. Tell me more, Spirit. What are Sagittarius's true desires, true, true feelings, true intentions here with this Queen of Wands Emperor person? Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, yeah, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, you're like heading towards a new direction, you're heading towards a new direction, Five of Pentacles, Tower, um, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Mm -mm. No. Nope. You're definitely too upset right now, that's for sure. I mean, I think your this energy that you have of like just being really upset with this person um, is definitely like um, taking over here. You're carrying kind of like a lot of resentment and kind of, you know, bitterness, I guess you can say, towards this person. And you know, you you know, you might have a right, you might, you know, be right about that. I don't know the details of what happened here, but you know, you might have every right to feel that way. I just feel like you don't want to look at their face, to be honest. I really I honestly feel like you don't want to look at their face right now. It's interesting though, because I do feel like you keep looking over your shoulder. I am noticing that. Here we have the Seven of Swords, you see? Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is you looking over your shoulder here. And look at the Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. This is you in two different energies. This is you moving towards something new. And the King of Wands, this is you looking at the past. So I feel like there is a little bit of this um, indecisive energy inside of you however i feel like you're 
your anger or resentment right now is more stronger than anything. And I feel like, I feel like you just want to get away. I feel like you want to get, get away. I feel like you want to move on. I, I feel like you want to experience something new here with the Ace of Pentacles. So right now, I feel like you're in this energy of, no, like, I'm not going to go backwards, no matter what. I'm not going to let myself go backwards, no matter what. Like, it's too much. Like, it's, it's been too much chaos, too much drama, too much instability. All right. Let's see what's gonna happen in the future, all right? Let's see what's gonna happen. Um, what's the overall outcome between you and this person moving forward into the future? Is anything going to change or are things going to stay the same? Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me what's the overall outcome between Sagittarius and this person moving forward. I definitely don't see this person taking action, that's for sure. They're waiting for you, you know? They're waiting for you and they're, they're not gonna move. I mean, I don't know, let's, let's verify that just to make sure. Spirit, is this person going to take any actions towards Sagittarius moving forward? Is this person going to take any action towards Sagittarius moving forward? This Queen of Wands Emperor person? Queen of Cups, no. Four of Pentacles, no, I told you. I told you, this person's in a feminine energy. Queen of Cups is feminine. The feminines don't move. They sit. They sit and they stay still. All right, what's the overall outcome between Sagittarius and this person moving forward into the future? What's ultimately going to happen between these two? Thank you, Spirit. Overall outcome, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Three of Wands, Queen of Wands. Ooh, you're, you're running in the opposite direction of this queen. Male or female, doesn't have to be a woman. See overall outcome, ultimate outcome. Two of Pentacles, what did I tell you? Look, like there's there's a back and forth kind of indecisive energy here. It's connected to you. King of Wands. Mm -hmm. Emperor. Yep, yep. I told you there's a little bit, there's a little part of you deep down inside that's a li that's kind of indecisive, you know? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Obviously, you feel uh, like very attracted to this person, or just, they're just still there's still a lot of passion that you have for them. Even though this person might have killed your love a little bit for them, or maybe all of it, I don't know. Because I do feel like this person killed your love for them to a certain extent, but you're still very attractive, attracted to them, drawn to them. Tell me more, Spirit, what's the ultimate outcome moving forward into the future between Sagittarius and this person? Eight of Cups, okay. Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles. Ooh, you're becoming more tough. Mm -mm. Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Wait a second, what happened here? Six of Cups. All right, let's get one more row. One more. Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Mm, no. Six of Wands, Hermit. Mm -mm. World, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Okay. So, in regards to the outcome here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you see how you're turning your back to this Ace of Swords? So it's gonna cross your mind, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Um, but you see how you're turning your back to the Ace of Swords? This is a communication, uh, having, having a conversation. You're turning your back to it, which means like, it's crossing your mind. It's crossing your mind. Um, I do feel like at some point you are going to feel like you missed this person with the Six of Cups. You might have, you know, a couple of moments where you're going to miss them. You're going to feel like you're missing them. The thought of communicating is going to cross your mind. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. However, I feel like you're not going to give in. You're not going to give in. I feel like you're going to keep keep it, keep it, yourself moving forward and you're going to be very focused with your work, career, and finances, responsibilities with the Eight of Pentacles. You feel like it's too risky with the Five of Wands. It's too risky. As much as you might you know, feel tempted at some point here, ultimately you're going to decide that it's too risky to to go back there again. So I see you taking the, the safe route and just moving on and moving forward and just focus, continuing to focus on yourself and on your work, career, finances. Okay, all right, there we go. That's the story, Sagittarius. So that's what I see as of right, as of right now, as of the current energies. I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.